The virtual reality world is going vogue, yes God. Lux labels like Gucci, Fendi, Balenciaga, and Burberry are rolling out digital clothing collections for gaming avatars to don while they dominate in the metaverse. Now Posse, I know y'all, and I know you're thinking, well what exactly is the metaverse? In the words of Usher, it's kinda hard to explain, but girl, I'll try. The metaverse is a real-time 3D computer universe where users can create avatars and live vicariously through them. And when I tell you that these gamers do not play when it comes to lavishing their cyberspace characters in the finest of digital fashions, I mean, they are spending more than a bit of coin, okay? Gucci, they introduced their line of digital pieces and accessories in May. One of their bags, the Queen Bee Dionysus, sold for $350,000. That doesn't translate directly to American dollars, okay? But 350,000 virtual reality dollars is $4,000 in real money. And that's on a fake bag. But listen, the people want it and they're buying it. I got a chance to speak to several very modish metaverse material girls, one being Leah Ash, and she spent over $3 million making sure that her avatar, named not Leah, has the absolute best limited edition Gucci bags, a collection of those, a flock of six pink mansions, and that she drives around in a very cute pink Rolls Royce, okay? I drive around in a 2009 Ford Focus. Where do I sign up to become not Leah? Online fashion retailer Dress X offers not only clothes for avatars to don in the virtual reality world, but they also have it so that humans who are in this world are able to superimpose virtual fashions onto themselves for social media, and they can even do it when they're on a Zoom call. Mary J. Blige's iconic Super Bowl halftime fashion show outfit was sold on Dress X for $8,400, okay? $8,400 to wear Mary J. Blige's Super Bowl outfit. Now listen, anybody who knows me knows that I love MJB, okay? I'm just Mary, just Mary, just Mary. However, for $8,400, I would need to be front row at a Mary concert, sitting next to the Virgin Mary and a little lamb because hello, that's a lot of money. So I've never been a gamer girl. I mean, I'm not ever going to shade somebody who's into that. It just never clicked for me. I was definitely a Barbie girl, a Polly Pocket girl. I was really never that into computer games. I was like a little bit entertained by that little paper clip that was in Microsoft Word and told you you misspelled a word or something like that. That was the full extent of my computer gaming fun. Now that I know a little bit more about the metaverse, you know, it is something that's very interesting to me. I think right now I need to get a better grip on this verse and my Bible verses and maybe a Kanye verse before I try to get into any other kind of verse. So the metaverse is cool, but it might have to wait for me. I need you to click, clack, boom, hit that like button, follow this channel and share this video as if you believe and laugh after love. You get it? Share, you know, we share around here, okay?